it was good while it lasted, but I guess it's time for us to soak up those last few drops of atheism before it all comes crashing down. And I'd say that only counts if you're listening to this show before 2 p.m. on Thursday, but you kind of have to be. Because at 2 p.m. Eastern Time today, Christians across the globe are going to join together and pray us out of existence. So, yeah, this may or may not be a thing. It showed up as a Facebook Live alert uh, like a week and a half ago. And the website it points to is called Atheism Hoax. And it has a hodgepodge of obviously satirical shit and non-satirical bad argumentation. But it's all very much geared towards the fuck atheists crowd. The satirical stuff is like... Atheists deny gravity after learning it was discovered by a Christian, and sneezing atheist sues co-worker for assault after they say God bless you. And no, by the way, I did not pick his worst attempts at humor. Those were just the first two that came up. Of course, the cynical conclusion here is that he's genuine in his fuck atheist desires, but lazy enough to use satire to lubricate his bullshit. It's a defense tactic in case he ever needs to back away from something he claimed without admitting that he was wrong. It was meant to satire as a bad idea panacea in these guys' minds. But regardless of its origin or its intent, it's actually attracted an awful lot of genuine Christians who genuinely want to invoke God's magic to genuinely wipe us the fuck out. Because there's virtually nothing so blatantly awful that you'd look at it and go, not Christians. Like, Poe or not, once the idea was out there, a lot of Christians were like, yeah, I guess it's about time we finally got around to that. And they are in. Now, the first takeaway from this to consider is what it says about society's prejudice against atheists. Facebook is a platform that will literally delete your comment if you spell out the Farnsworth quote because filthy monkey men could be a racial epithet, and yet their community standards have no issue at all with using their site to organize an attempted magical genocide if your target is atheists. I mean, I, I get they're doing this shit with bots, but I feel like a global prayer to end Judaism or a, a global prayer to end Hispanics would have gotten the boot. Of course, somebody did come up with a global middle finger to end Christianity and counterpost to this shit, and that hasn't been taken down. So maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. And if the blatant bigotry doesn't offend you, perhaps the redundancy will. Look, there's no fucking need to specifically pray atheists out of existence. Just pray for anything. If it works, you pretty much do away with atheism as a byproduct. Pray for an end to childhood cancer or a cure for blindness or a regrown limb on an amputee. If you can do that in a verifiable way, you'll get rid of almost all the atheists right away and you get to cure childhood cancer or whatever. But beyond the bigotry of the bad strategy, it also inadvertently highlights just how wrong they are. Because if prayer worked, why wouldn't we have been prayed out of existence by now? Like, if you think about it, God not existing is the less embarrassing option for them at this point. The other possibility is that they're losing a fight to a significantly smaller group of people, even though their side has magic powers and our side doesn't. What kind of bumbling fucking idiot would their God have to be to fuck things up that bad? And don't get me wrong, the whole God is omnipotent, but he's a fucking nunce theory would explain a lot. We're talking about a guy who spent the first nine or ten books of his Bible trying to convince a small tribe of desert nomads that he existed and other gods didn't, and with a few notable and temporary exceptions, failed. You know, intelligent design falls apart the first time you look at how sinuses work, but stupid design, that's a tougher nut to crack. Or, or, or maybe God is omnipotent and he's smart, but they're such a bunch of fuck-ups that they never quite get the spell right. right. Christians do love to talk about what a bunch of worthless, undeserving pieces of shit they are, and it's one of the few places where I can find common ground with them, to be honest with you. But even though that would explain a lot, too, Oh, yeah, well, I'm inferior to you isn't much more of a burn than, oh, yeah, well, I'm deluded and demonstrably wrong. So I don't think they're going to use that one either. Now, in the interest of intellectual integrity, I should caveat all of this by reminding everybody that I'm recording this the day before the prayer to end atheism. So on the record, if me and all the other atheists disappear, die or convert by 2.01 p.m., or, you know, sorry, it's going to take a while to do the prayer. I'll give God a minute to warm up. Let's say 2.30 p.m. So if by 2.30 p.m. all of the atheists stop existing, I disavow the preceding diatribe and every other defense of atheism I've ever put on the record. But something tells me you're not going to find any Christians willing to take the other side of that bet, though. <laughs>